Whiskers, I suppose that would be the part where you ride down it on a giant leaf. Sweet Jupiter's moon of Io! What madness is this? Ride down it on a giant leaf? Madness, I say, madness! It's just like snowboarding. We Harringtons took a trip to the slopes every winter. I'm going to rock this sport just like I rocked that one. But the leaf, Brandy? The leaf! <laughs> What's the big deal? I once had a bad giant plant experience. Venus Plants eat people. Can't trust them. What, Moby? Quit being such a baby. I'll show you how easy it is. It's all stance and balance. Plant wide, find your center of gravity, and... <laughs> As long as the landing's good. Mm. Freddy! <laughs> no, no, giant eating plant! I have a best friend to rescue! I'm whiskers! Slow down! You'll never take the turn at that rate of velocity! That was, uh, kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I know butcher mouth resuscitation. What are you doing? It's mouth to mouth resuscitation. Gee, Brandy, for that desperate for a smooch. Smith Randy! Randy! Oh, are you alright? Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. I'm just out of practice. Woo! That run was amazing! Oh, I don't know about that. Give me a chance to warm up and. Beg your pardon, Miss Brandy, but. The praise was being directed in Mr. Whiskers' direction. Really? You have the gift! You just might be the best leaf rider this jungle's ever seen! It was just a bad drop-in, a fluke. Like your good run. Tomorrow I'll show everybody who the best really is. Why are you so hung up on being the best? There's an old philosophy I like to live by that goes, What's the point of doing anything if you're not the best at it? That is a horrible philosophy that will bring you nothing but misery. But if it means we get to do more leaf riding, I'm good. Then you'd better bring it, because I'm showing up tomorrow and my A-game's coming with me. Outstanding, Mr. Whiskers. I can't believe you hit a backside 360 on your first try. And I can't believe Whiskers is better than Brandy. It's something that doesn't involve belching or earwax. <sighs> he is not better than me. He just got lucky twice. We ride again. Sweet. My snowboarding suit. Dress like a champ, shred like a champ. It's all I had that was clean. Hooray! <laughs> Number one fan, stay 
in school. Fight the man! To my 247 fair. Sorry, he brought cookies. Are you going to enter the all Amazon? If that's the fighting slang for take a potty break, then yes, as soon as possible. Mr. Whiskers, the All Amazon Leaf Riding Championship is where they find out who's the best of the best of the best of the best. You really think I'm that good? Really? I've seen the best of the best of the best of the best. And you're better than the best of them. Okay, sign me up. Sign me up, too. I'm in it to win it, baby. Let's do my half in hippos and rainbows. It's self-affirmation, Whiskers. If you keep telling yourself you're the best, pretty soon you will be. Oh, I don't know, Brandy. I told myself for years I was the best thoroughbred racehorse in America. <laughs> but it didn't really work out. Oh, thanks for the useless advice. But the poster and I are going out to work on our affirmations. I am the best leaf rider in the Amazon. I am the best leaf rider in the Amazon. <laughs> So sad is our little Brandy. Doesn't it just break my heart into little pieces and bits? Go ahead. Make fun of me. Everybody else is. No, 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 no. I am not here to make the fun. I come to offer my services. You wish to be the best leaf rider in the Amazon. I can make it happen. Really? It is a Gaspar Le Gecko guarantee. Yes! I'll show that Lucky thinks he's so good, Whiskers, he's not better than... Wait, this is kind of un-Gaspar of you. What's in it for you? At the All Amazon Leaf Riding Championship, I will join the antique wooden doll betting pool, wagering my entire collection on you. With the odds against you, I will make a doll fortune! <laughs> you bet antique wooden dolls? Yes, I'm a collector, okay? Are you in or no? Let's do it! Your body is not used to traveling super fast. We practice now! <laughs> Dala! Leaf riding is Dala! Okay, try to ignore the coconut. <laughs> You're not ignoring the coconut. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it, that's it. Get deep into the scales. Oh, yeah. How is this supposed to make me a better leaf rider? Oh, yes, leaf riding. Back to training. <laughs> oh, you are truly the worst leaf rider in the world. I give up. No, Gaspar is a lizard of his work. If I say you will be the best, you will be the best. If, of course, you are willing to. Yes, whatever it takes, make me the best. Okay, the competition's tomorrow, so we're gonna have to work extra hard if we wanna... Gaspar? Mr. Whiskers? Any advice for an up-and-coming leaf rider? Sure. Did you know a blue whale's tongue is about the same size and weight as a full-grown African elephant? I guess that was more of a factoid. Hey, Brandy. Good luck today. Ugh. Gaspar, you promised to make me the best and then you totally disappeared. Ugh, you lied to me. Oh, Brandy, why did you say such horrible things? I am on the tippity top of everything. You must trust me. Rider number one! Whoa! Oh, Rider one is disqualified! That was a lucky break. Yes, was it not? Rider number two! Something I ate. Not feeling too. Rider two withdraws! Oh, poor little guy. Yes, and he looked so healthy at dinner last night. Rider number three! Rider number three. Which rider number three? Hello? Hello? Anybody? Rider three is disqualified! Oh, such a shame. I even drew a map for him.
But of course, mon petit bumble plants. This was your plan from the beginning. No, the beginning plan was to train you. But Sherry, you are hopeless. The only way for you to be the best is to make everyone else worse. Whatever it takes, no? Rider number 13! Whiskers! You want to open with the Japan Air. Uh -huh. Maybe throw in a stale fish to an uh -huh. alley impossible. Yes. But hold up on that tail side, Robert. Oh. That is your closer. Okay. I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded awesome. Whiskers! You can't go down there. Why not? Everything bad that could have happened already has. What could possibly be left? Giant dating plant! Plant seed people. Can't trust him. What? Mommy. Rider number 14 with Trump! You go, my champion. Win me a bounty in dollies. No. What? But, Miss Brandy, you shouldn't quit just because the other guys had a run of bad luck. It wasn't bad luck. Gaspar sabotaged the competition. <laughs> and it's all my fault. I wanted to be the best, but I'd rather be the worst rider in a clean competition than the best rider in a dirty one. I'm sorry. I'm disqualifying myself. Rider 14 withdraws! But that's like everybody. Nobody's gonna leaf ride? Well, I guess there's no championship this year. Wait a minute! Where are you all going? We came to have a leaf riding competition, so we're gonna have a leaf riding competition. on finding what you were best at. Right back at your sister. Yeah, I guess it worked out for everybody in the end. <laughs> Goodbye, Buttercup. You too, Marigold. Oh, Daffodil, I will miss you most of all. <laughs> Lomi Lomi sauce? All the fixins for the best and most stylishly themed Aloha Friday ever. W <gasps> Whiskers? Our house! Pretty great, huh? What are you talking about? Are you saying you did this? Well, I hate to be immodest, but yes! Oh, I thought I'd spruce the place up. I'm destroying it? By adding the skylight. And since you think bigger is always better, I made it the world's biggest skylight! That roundish thing on top of your shoulders with the ears. What's that for exactly? Because you don't seem to be using it for thinking. Hey, I think. Sometimes you even have good ideas. Name one. What about the car I made? <laughs> I still maintain a fruit-based car is both environmentally and nutritionally sound. Whiskers, you're a lot of things. Annoying, smelly, gassy, but smart isn't one of them. So next time you get the idea to do something, don't. Well, that's a shame, Mr. Whiskers. Oh, Ed, I only wanted to make Brandy happy. Oh, but I guess I'm not smart enough to do that. Now, now, you'll think of something nice you can do for Miss Brandy. And I am gonna help. You know what they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> You're a genius. All I need is another head and I'll be twice as smart. Then I won't make stupid mistakes like this. Oh, it's a perfect plan. Hey, that's the stuff. That idea is so dumb, it might actually circle around the horn back to smart. But where does one go to acquire a second head? I mean, besides the forbidden magical swamp of stay the heck away. Ooh, sounds inviting! This way, Mr. Whiskers, there is a reason it is called the forbidden magical swamp. 
it's forbidden to enter ever. <sighs> yeah, let me. Hey, I'm as curious as you are. Are you ready for the grand unveiling? Uh, I uh, think so. Maybe. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, people, give it up for oh, Whiskers. The two heads are better than one two. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> This can take a while. If you want to go make a sandwich, I'll call you back if... Whoa! Come back! Come back! Oh, he's here! Look at him, Ed. Oh, boy. I cannot wait to try it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do something smart. <clears throat> You realize this quaint scheme of yours is doomed, yes? You've based it all upon a literal interpretation of proverbial wisdom. <laughs> now that is smart! Just in time! Coming, coming! Aloha! Aloha! It was Ed's idea, really. Two heads are better than one, don't you know? I should be a lot more freaked out than this. See? Now I have twice the brain power. Oh, please. Ten times at least. <laughs> now I am at the correct freak out level. Thank you. It talks. Young lady, I am not an it. I am every bit as real as he is, and I smell much better. Watch it, pal. You gotta get out of here before anyone shows up. You're a creepy freak of nature, and I don't want you around. Don't take it personally. She says that all the time. Aloha, Brandy. <gasps> oh, too late. They're here. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, guys. Hello. Good people, I beseech you, don't leave. Your congenial host has prepared such a scrumptious affair, it would be gravely inconsiderate to rush off. To which I responded, well, then why not make me head of state? Mr. Two is so great. You should have made Whiskers get a second head ages ago. No, 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 no. You can't lay this one on me. I had nothing to do with it. Now, Brandy, my girl, don't be modest. I know for a fact that you in a roundabout way, are the initial inspiration for my creation. I owe my very being to you. <laughs> really? My dilemma is that I cannot tell which of you is more beautiful. It's me! No, 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 no. You, you, you misunderstand. I, I merely mean that each is more beautiful than the other. That's more like it. I'm better than you. No, he means I'm better than you, girls! Let's not forget he wouldn't even be here if it weren't for me. I'm back in the whole second head thing. In fact, if I got two of them, I could use the mouths as hands. I don't know, Lola. I mean, it works on whiskers, but that's because his first head didn't... <laughs> you know I'm still here, right? Ah, oh, Brandy. Your levity and wit are unparalleled in this jungle. Why, I can scarcely imagine what you would be like with a second head. It would be difficult to gaze upon you, as your beauty would be doubled. Wow, me twice as beautiful. It's like you'd have to invent new math just to measure it. This is the best Aloha Friday, and to think it almost didn't happen thanks to Whiskers and his skylight. Skylight, that's what's missing! <laughs> What just happened? Sorry, but I could not allow you to destroy the roof over your head as it is also the roof over my head. You are so cool! You stopped in mid-mayhem! You just keep getting better and better. Well, thanks, Brandy. I try. Uh, I believe she was referring to me, old chap. Duh. Oh. Don't worry, Whiskers. We can make you cool, too. So? How do you like me now? Somehow, even less. Quite. <sighs> oh, oh, 
Please, uh, next time, exhale to the right. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry indeed. What's up, Mr. Whiskers? Well, Ed, I, I am learning that two heads are not necessarily... Oh, Mr. Stu, I want to thank you for that recipe you gave me for grouper fish. Oh, you liked it then? Mmm, delicious. Now, my only question is, when sautéing the shallots, do I... Not you too, Ed? Not me too, Ed what, Mr. Whiskers? Simply ignore him. He's just jealous of me. Me? Jealous of you? <laughs> How could I be? I'm Whiskers One and you're Mr. Two. Uh, speaking of which, I was wondering if it makes more sense for me to be number one. Oh, how can I put this? You look like a number two. That is the last straw. I cannot stand this anymore. I need you to get rid of my other head. Are you with me, Ed? When I saute the shallots, do I... Ed! Okay, okay. Yeesh. First, we need to track Mr. Two's daily routine. Learn his usual haunts, acquaintances, bathroom schedules, etc. You do know I can hear you, right? Blast, he's outfucked me again. Oh, he knows by every move. It is uncanny, I admit. Clearly, I don't have the brain power to take you on, Mr. Two, but I can change that. <laughs> you, I need your help. Get rid of the second head. Well, sir, I'm not sure we ought to be getting rid of anybody. I mean, if two heads are better than one, there might just be a benefit of us having three. Oh, absolutely. It stands to reason. On the other hand, you know what they say about three being a crowd. <laughs> Uh-oh. Randy, allow me to introduce my colleague, Mr. Three. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, good lady. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Randy, they want to get rid of me. Sounds good. Let's go. B Randy, maybe you don't get what's going on here. You walk into the swamp, and your annoying head disappears forever. Okay, you do get it. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna rock. Randy, why would you say such things? Why, Whiskers? Because you used my best lipstick to write a book about you. You made me a necklace out of your toenails. It was your birthday. Hello. You're always yodeling. I thought you liked yodeling. And let's not even go into the recent skylight incident. Oh, heavens no, let's not. Indeed. <sighs> I'm sorry, Brandy. I, I only did those things because I thought they'd make you happy. And I thought it was the thought that counts. I thought. Well, it is, but... But I don't think so well, right? That's why I got these guys, because I thought you'd like me better if I thought. <laughs> but, I, but I guess I thought wrong. Oh, whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that, Randy. I won't be lousing up your life anymore. Wait, whiskers, don't go. Love you, Sam. Well, of course she does. I should have known she'd be gullible enough to fall for such hard tugging claptrap. Indeed. Embarrassing displays of emotion always work on lackwits. Excuse me? Gullible? Lackwit? Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, do you need us to explain what those big words mean? No. I was going to say, whiskers don't go until you give me back my sunglasses. But now I'm thinking I just may want my old whiskers back. <laughs> Wow, does it feel great to just be me again? Yeah, smart idea or not, there's no replacing the original whiskers. So, what happened to those other heads anyway? So, uh, what do you fellas do for fun? Uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs>